this is this is going to be a short little video. Um, I just put a video on YouTube here a few days ago about my uh, wood gas uh, data logging device, and so here it is again. And um, it's pretty much like uh, what you saw uh, a few days ago with a couple of changes. And if you can look right here, if I can get this just right, uh, what I have done is to change the way that the uh, LCD uh, reads out. So uh, I've got the uh, temperatures T1 and T2 in whole numbers. There's no need for fractions when I'm going to be shooting for the range of uh, 1200 to 1800 degrees. And then the four pressures that are the 0.012 minus and so on and so on are uh, are just uh, to two digits, uh, two decimal places. And then I changed the thermistor reading to say ambient temperature to make it easier to read. Anyway, so other than that, it's pretty much the same circuit with one other exception, and that is uh, an area that you can probably just barely see, and that's the the three. Um, LEDs that are right here a red one a green one and a yellow one And I'm going to demonstrate them in a minute And the reason they're there is that I know when I when I've worked on my gas fire in the past There's just so much going on that I just can't keep uh, Track of everything and I and I need to know what's really important that's going wrong before it gets too out of whack so what I've done is I've uh, added these three LEDs and they'll be on some sort of a stalk where I can see them easily later on uh, but at any rate, the idea is that each one of those is designed to tell me where I'm at with my uh, temperature just at the output of the reactor, just below the grate. And so the idea is that until I get to, and I forget the numbers, uh, let's say six or 700 degrees Fahrenheit, none of the lights come on, and then the red light comes on, and that stays on until I get to just the point where... Uh, uh, would be the ideal temperature for below the hearth. Then the green one comes on, and then if it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, the green one goes out and the yellow one comes on. And so that way, even without having to come and read the meters, I can be 10 feet away, and hopefully, you know, the situation will be that I can keep the green light on. But the idea is to make it easy to get all the other work done. So at any rate, so now I'm going to demonstrate the lights and I hope you'll be able to see the lights come on. I'm going to use a torch and it's so noisy you wouldn't be able to hear me talk anyway. So here we go. And, and you probably won't be able to see the temperatures either, but you'll get the idea that as this uh, uh, thing gets hotter the lights come on. And there you have it. That's all it really takes, but I, I think it's kind of a cool way to, uh, uh, to keep track of your wood gasifier. This is just a little addendum. Uh, this is the Arduino code that goes along with the uh, uh, gas logger, and I won't, I won't burden you with the whole thing. Just that I spent a lot of time uh, figuring all this stuff out. Uh, but what I'm going to do is go down here. You probably wondered what the temperatures are that I'm going to be starting off with. And so I'm going to go down here to the bottom. It's like almost 600 lines of code. So it's coming up here pretty soon. And I'll read you the numbers anyway uh, when I get there. And I'm getting there. Sooner or later. It's the pressure readings. Here we come. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, the the low range or below range is uh, uh, 700 degrees Fahrenheit, no lights come on. So between 701 and 1381 degrees, the red light comes on. The green light uh, comes on at 1382 and up to 1563 and then the the uh, uh, the the higher range is 1563 to 2300 so I just wanted to give you uh, some numbers and I don't know that that's right for 
my Chinese JXQ10 gas fire, but uh, these are numbers that are uh, I got from the GEK people at allpowerlabs.com, and I'm going to start with them, and I can adjust them as need be. It's not hard to do at all. Thank you.